Regardless of whether you can see red lava or not, you are for sure going to see a lot of black lava, the kind that's already cooled and hardened. It's true that it may not be quite as exciting, but the black lava still holds many surprises for you today. There are two major types of black lava to keep an eye out for while you're at the park. They are Pahoehoe and Aa. Pahoehoe lava erupts at an extremely high temperature, about 2200 degrees Fahrenheit or 1200 degrees Celsius, and flows fast like a river down the mountains, sometimes reaching speeds as high as 30 miles an hour. When Pahoehoe dries, it looks shiny and smooth and kind of ropey. A large field of Pahoehoe lava kind of looks like a giant pan of brownies. Mmm, yum. You'll recognize it once you're in the park. And I'll point it out to you as well. The other type of lava, Aa, on the other hand, is much cooler and moves a lot slower. And in one large mass, like a bulldozer pushing down everything in its way. Aa lava has a rough, sharp, and jagged surface. It might help you remember its name. Just think of the sound you make when you walk on this jagged lava without any shoes on. So let's keep an eye out for the different types of lava during our drive today. As a side note, removing any kind of lava rock from the National Park is a federal violation and will incur the wrath of Madame Paley. <laughs>